Uh, what's a synonym for mean, by the way? Because mean sounds like cruel. What's another word we could use? Uh, Bravi. Average, fantastic. Maybe I'm even going to put that up here. You know. uh, one of the things I used to get really frustrated and cross about was when there were lots of different words for the same thing, I was like, come on, people, just decide on one word so I don't have to remember so many things. And then I realized whenever there's a word or an idea and you see lots of different words for it, um, that means something important. It means that lots of people like this idea or this word or they use it all the time. And so different groups of people will often come up with different words to say the same thing in their own context. So what that means is that's a signal to you. Hey, this is an idea which comes up over and over and over again. It's highly and broadly applicable. Okay, so we don't have to call it. Not the answer, but how do we, in what way do we calculate the mean for this? You can go ahead and check we do 11 plus 9 plus 15 plus 12. Okay, very good. So I'm going to add everything. Yeah. yeah, you're happy with that? So as I requested, I would love if you could have a line of working just to indicate what it is that we're doing before we get to the answer. So presuming we can calculate what this is going to be, is that all I need to do to get them in? No. What, what have I calculated at this, at this second? Um, this is so just the... I guess it's just the total of all the scores. Yeah, happy with that? What do I do next? Let's see. Yeah, Krishan. Fantastic. So I'm going to need to do a division here. I have how many values in this case? Five. So I'll divide through by five. <coughs> Has anyone already calculated the total before we divide? Yeah, go ahead, Eric. The total um, is the 50. Is it 50? Yeah. Can we get to nodding and green? Can we help you? Okay, fantastic. And that means when I divide by five, I should get an answer off. Ten. Ten, which is a relief because I was trying to mentally calculate some numbers that would give you something nice. Happy times. We remember how to calculate the mean. Okay? Now, in many cases, this is exactly how you would use the mean. This is kind of a classic way. You got all the numbers, and then you need to do the division and find out. Okay? But occasionally, things will be, will be able to use this same knowledge in a slightly different way. For example, have a look at these same five numbers. Um, suppose, just suppose, they were your scores on a test, like a series of tests, okay? So you've done five tests for each one of them, you've got a particular score. I guess that last test was really, really hard, okay? Now, suppose what I wanted you to say was, okay, I would like you now to work out a, um, a new score to add on to this. Suppose I know you've got one more test coming up, a sixth test. And I would really love to bump up my average, my mean, from 10 to say, let's be really ambitious, let's try and bump it up to 12. Okay? So I'm trying to think to myself, all right, I'm going to need to score something on the next test so that when I do my calculation, my average will be 12. How might I go about calculating this? Jessica, what are you doing? You did algebra. So okay, so I can do some algebra. So in the end, you write plus x is just like um, down to three within Where would you like me to write plus x? On the top with all the totals. You mean up here? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I'll, you mean yeah, here, like plus x. Okay, so maybe you want to jot it down with me if you've got another color, because we're doing a new question now. So I'm going to say plus x. What does this x signify? I'm going to ask someone else to take over from this one. What would that be? Uh, the other uh, test going in there. Good. So whenever we have some number, we don't know what it is, and we just give it a name, and then we can start working with it. And the number is, what should I score on the next test? Okay. So you guys told me to calculate the mean. You add everything up, and then the second step was you divided, right? So now that I don't have five scores anymore, what am I going to have to do the denominator? Uh, it's going to have to be six because there will be six scores. Do you agree with that? So I'm going to, I guess I'll add one there as well. Okay. Now, um, what other information did I tell you before? I wanted the goal. I wanted my new mean to be what? I wanted it to be 12, right? So I'm kind of like, right, I want to end up on 12, not on 10. So let's think about this for a second. I know that the denominator on this step will be divided by 6. So I wonder if anyone, if the cogs are turned, let's see if someone hasn't said anything yet. Can, come on, can I know you guys have got the answer, which is great. How am I going to work out what goes here in order to make sure this is my answer? Okay, give us a Where am I going to put six, sorry? Uh, make, put it equal sign and then six. I've got a 12. Where am I going to put you? Okay, I've got a 12. I've got a six. I'm trying to work out what should the numerator be because that will help me out up here, right? 
This is a bit trickier, isn't it? I have got uh, an idea here that I want to end on 12. Okay? I know in my previous line, I'm going to have some thing that's divided by 6. I want the answer to be 12. Frank, what do you reckon? 12 times by 6. 12 times, times by 6. Very good. So you see we've reverse engineered what we're doing here, which is division by 6. The opposite of that is 72. Very good. So that's multiplying. By the way, not that you'll need to know it quite yet, but we have a fancy name for this. When you take some operation, and you try and do the opposite of that, we call that the inverse, right? So it, I want to do the inverse of division, which, as Merrick did, was multiplication. Okay, very good. Have I got x yet? Can I, is this enough information to work out what x should be? Krishna, what do you think? Well, if you have the sum of the five numbers from 4, which is 50, mm -hmm. then you would have to add, add so you deduct minus 72 by 50 to get the number. Yeah, fantastic. So in case you didn't quite catch that, right? Previously, we added up all these scores, and we knew what the total was, yeah? Now I want to add up all of these scores plus the new guy, and I don't want to end up at 50, I want to end up at 72, and the difference, of course, is 22. So that should be the actual answer that we want. Can we just do a quick check? I mean, you've got a calculator there, I won't make you do this mentally. If you took 11 plus 9 plus something, and so on, and you add 22 on here, right? If you then divide it by 6, would you get the mean that we were hoping for? Does it check out? Now, hopefully, even before you did your calculator, you were convinced enough by the working that we did to say, oh, okay, this is the way that works. 